some are lingering on. It's actually one factor that this weekend, all of a sudden, the temperature all around parts of Spain, except the far northwest, has really got high. It's in the high 20s here in Levante. There's a bit of humidity. And you think that's a lot. It's likely to be 28, 29 degrees in Bilbao tonight, which is you know, quite stunning for the, for the Basque reason. But it's going to be a hot, hot day, which might not help Levante either. Madrid, we saw when they won in... When they won in Villarreal, they, they were able to keep the ball, move the ball around a lot a lot better than their rivals. And it has to be said, Villarreal are a better team than Levante. Well, we'll have the starting lineups for you, beginning, of course, uh, with the home team, Levante, who pick uh, a total of uh, 10 Spaniards in their starting lineup. Diop, the only foreign player uh, not in. Uh, Jose Luis Mendelibar's starting 11. Yeah, Mendelibar who needs a good result. He was, his side got a, an important point two weeks ago away to Eibar. I think a game a lot of people were wondering if, that, if they'd lost that game. Levante might have started to worry a little bit about the about the coach. Mendelibar has changed things a little bit at Levante. Um, they're looking to play a little bit more football than before. Well, as we said, 10 Spanish players. Uh, Juan Fran, the captain, returns, but still... Uh, Plenty of absences in defence, including Navarro, a frequent sparring partner of Cristiano Ronaldo's. Ronaldo starts on the left, Chicharito in the middle, James on the right. No Gareth Bale, Isco comes in with Cruz and Modric in the midfield. No Ramos uh, either, as uh, Nacho takes his place yeah, in the defence. Because Varane, along with Karim Benzema, um, they came down with a, with a fever. Um, yesterday and they didn't make the trip. Um, Nacho's good, he's left sided so he gives decent bit of balance to the side. Um, once again up front you have to say will it be Cristiano on the left? Th there's a lot of mobility there and Isco of course gets the chance. He, um, disappointing week for the for the Spain internationally was left out the Spain full squad to help the under 21s try and qualify for the European Championships to, so they could defend their title and unfortunately they, they lost to Serbia, they lost 2-1 on aggregate. Referee, the man in the middle today, Mr. Ignacio Iglesias. Gets us started, Real Madrid in the white. Shooting from right to left, a kick us off in the uh, Azulgrana. Uh, clarity red and uh, blue is uh, Levante. The home side who may have a tough afternoon here. Will immediately play back to Pepe. Here's Isco, who collects it from deep. Spain under 21s uh, did go out of uh, the European Championship qualifiers, but uh, Isco had a fantastic game uh, for the Spain under 21s. I think he's a player who should be in the full, in the full squad. He was unlucky not perhaps not to be in the squad for the for the World Cup. Um, probably didn't go because he wasn't playing enough enough club football, you know, which is ironic because um, the man in goal wasn't exactly playing a great deal, but different, I suppose, for a, for an outfield player. And Levante try and break down the left-hand side. It's interesting for this game that Mendeliba has decided to to leave out um, David Barral, who's been leading the line in recent, well, no, basically for the last couple of years, and he's gone instead pushed Victor Casadesus to form a Mallorca forward up on his own, and he's looked to play players with more pace. He's brought, obviously Morales has done well since coming back from his loan spell at Eibar. In fact, he scored in Eibar. And he's also got Gavilan playing as well. Another former Getafe player, former Valencia player, who's mainly left-footed. Um, looks like he's going to start off on the right, though. So, obviously looking to exploit what he sees as a possible problem there for Madrid. Lack of, lack of pace down the, down the flanks. I'll take him by cross. Modric plays it through to Ronaldo, first opportunity for Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo scuffs it wide. But uh, Valencia very much uh, the more successful side of the city, uh, particularly uh, this year. After Levante had finished ahead of them last uh, season. Yeah, last season was a disaster for Valencia, it looks like the whole sale has gone through now to Peter Lim, etc, etc. Whereas Levante, they're, they're, they're having a difficult year on and off the pitch with Ronaldo. Now Isco. Pepe reluctant to bring it forward, reluctant to cross uh, the halfway line at the moment. Cruz. 
the fellow pauses on the ball. Ten minutes played so far. Levante nil, Real Madrid nil. Real Madrid having those two decent chances to Cristiano, controlling most of the ball. Victor having an OK, OK chance with his head. We'll deliver it onto the right channel. Chicharito Hernandez goes down. Referee points to the spot. One front sprints over. He's shown a yellow card for his troubles. We have a penalty at uh, the Ciutat de Valencia. A familiar sight when Real Madrid come to town uh, in uh, recent years. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo will have a chance to put Madrid ahead. Well, didn't look as if one front the first time you've seen it. Doesn't look as if he times it particularly well. No offside. In fact, it's Juan Fran who breaks the offside. Is he saying, I don't think Juan, I don't think Chicharito dives there, do you? I think that's pretty much a stone cold penalty. Juan Fran getting up and having a moan, but I think it's a penalty. You know, chance for Cristiano to goes 14th. League goal. Well, a penalty with a little P. Chicharito Hernandez wins it. Cristiano Ronaldo will try to convert squares up to uh, Mourinho Ooh. Mourinho almost uh, pushed that out but Cristiano Ronaldo had too much power on it Levante nil Real Madrid won a third opportunity for Cristiano Ronaldo and as you said before it's not often that he would miss a third not exactly um, not the greatest penalty but Ends up in the back of the net, and that's all that really matters. Mourinho almost, almost saved it. And that's always frustrating for for a goalkeeper. It looks like a penalty, doesn't it? To be brutally honest, it's not. It's not a brilliant penalty, but it ends in the back of the net, and that's all you really worry about. And I think sometimes goalkeepers are a little bit intimidated against Cristiano as well. And Yero's gesture there to Ancelotti is woof. Says it all. So 14 goals for Ronaldo so far this season. A scintillating uh, run of form, Cristiano Ronaldo. Remember, this is only the eighth match day. 14 goals to his name. It's his 11th goal against the Levante, by the way. And he has some uh, nice memories of playing at the Ciutat de Valencia in terms of scoring goals. He's also uh, got some not so nice memories. Uh, was it two years ago? Two when years ago, in the pouring rain. David Navarro absolutely smacked him deliberately as well I think with his elbow left his eye we could hardly see afterwards wasn't he? he was pouring with blood and was carried on playing yeah. apparently it was a game and there was discussions in the dressing rooms after after the match in fact in the doctor's room I believe there was it, it, there was um like more than words were crossed Ballesteros and uh, Jose Mourinho uh, squaring up I certainly wouldn't want to square up to Ballesteros who was basically square himself Cruz with a pass, back to Pepe. Real Madrid have the lead, under 15 minutes played. I think it wasn't, I don't think Juan Fran needed to go in like that. Chicharito wasn't really going anywhere, he had to be, he's obviously he was in a dangerous position, but he was a place where you could have just hustled him, hassled him, and a, and a defender as experienced as Juan Fran Ronaldo. probably shouldn't have fallen into the trap. Isco, Marcelo's come inside. Oh, Isco dances past Diop. There's a pass to James Rodriguez, released onto the right. Carvajal might provide a return. And he tried a bit of trickery to get past uh, Lopez, who brings it forward. And I'll have a run down the line. But uh, Levante, they seem reluctant to bring players forward. Very often, just Ruben and Victor Casades, as they don't want to be caught on the counter by Real Madrid. Here's Ruben. Cross with Pedro Lopez. They're headed out. Isco collects. And it's knocked down the line. Nobody running onto it. Left for Diego Marino. Blocked out by Chicharito Hernandez. Quick to get players back. 
Ronaldo gets the pass to Isco. No advantage played uh, by the referee. Oh, it's quite Yellow bad. card is shown. It's Camaras, it's quite a bad challenge actually. Cristiano Ronaldo oh. comes back oh. off his feet. That's naughty. That is the one where they want to say. I don't think there's a foul there from Pepe. That is a bit sort of unnecessary, I think. Uh, the referee shouldn't be allowing the ball to be played on the ground like that. But, you know, if you, you think and you look back in the recent sort of Levante Real Madrid games and you remember the intensity Levante played with, that intensity so far has just not been there, has it? You know, they're trying to play with a bit more attacking flair with Morales, Ruben and Gavilan further forward. It's leaving Camaras and Diop a little bit exposed, not to say the full-backs as well. Yeah, in the past, when Caparos was in charge, for example, there would have been two lines of four. Well, probably actually two lines of five, let's be put in front of the goalkeeper, and then maybe Victor would have had to run forwards for the long ball out. But they wouldn't have made left as many spaces as they have been so far. Cristiano Ronaldo will take this himself, goes for goal, a poor delivery. Clatters into the wall. He's go battling for that one. Here's uh, Marcelo. I think we we're saying about the lack of intensity there. Oh, there again, he has recovered a bit of intensity with that rather wild lunge. One back by Levante. Modric is turned to try and get a tackle in. Levante unfazed, and the ball goes goalwards. It wasn't too far off either. He's got for corner actually. So. Casillas has yet to make a save. Maybe Marcelo got the last touch off that. Diop strolls over to take the corner. 25 minutes into this game. And about halfway through the first half. And Levante have their first corner of the contest. Ops delivery is clear off the line. Well, that I think was cleared more by accident than by design, to be brutally honest. Once again, Madrid showing that if they do have a weak point, it is defending crosses into the area, especially from set pieces. Look like Modric with the save on the line. As Madrid try and hit on the counter just too far in front of Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's have a look. It's a good corner, and it's a of spies uh, James Rodriguez on the left-hand side he swings one over looking for Cristiano Ronaldo oh, Ronaldo keeps it in play fakes the cross some fast footwork for to Luka Modric and Mourinho tips it over on the pass didn't look as if it was intended for Luka Modric he ran onto it I think so I think he's picked him out there I think, he's better. I think he's doing a disservice to Cristiano there. He's looked out for Modric. Decent effort. Curling away from the keeper. It's Modric's corner. And he looks to return the favour. With the delivery to Ronaldo. It was headed away. So Mendele Rose which he sort of gained a, a reputation for making normally pretty pretty tough teams to beat. He did a, he did a good job at Oxasuna, did well at Vida. It ended up, both of them, has to be said, both of his last years, to be fair, last season, he got sacked after only three games at Oxasuna, but makes you wonder why they didn't sort of dispense with his service at the end of the previous season. And the same at Vida Lid. He was there, but obviously at a club with a, once again, it's up and down, aren't they, Vida Lid. His last season there at Vida Lid also went down. So... He's probably not going to want to complete the hat trick. But he does tend to make sides that, you know, make the most out of their resources. Here's Modric. James Rodriguez inside the box. Cross comes back to him. Mm. Cristiano Ronaldo poked out a foot. It didn't drop correctly for him. Could easily have been, though, couldn't it? Just flashed across the face of goal there. Looked like it took a deflection on the way in, mm, and that's it. Took it away from Ronaldo. 
Real Madrid's third corner of the game. Isco takes this one. He scoops it up to the back post. Not a great delivery by Isco. He's put back in. That is a good delivery. And it's a goal for Chicharito Hernandez. He rises highest. Arriba, arriba. Chicharito Hernandez makes it 2-0 to Real Madrid. Their first goal from open play. And it was a great assist. Lovely ball in there. You know, that's what he's done time and time and again for, for both for Cruz Azul, for Club America, and for Manchester United. They're, they're a bit slow, maybe pushing out, but it's good movement, no marking. To be fair, the defending is a bit chaotic. They should perhaps have pushed out a bit, a bit more determination there. It's a lovely little cross back in now. Chicharito Hernandez very much in the Hugo Sanchez mould. First time hit goals. And that was a nice header down to beat Marinho. Picked up outside the box. It's Gavi Lan. And I wonder if the second start of the second half. Well, maybe not the start of the second half, but reasonably early in the second half, especially if we can get a third goal. Whether Ancelotti will give some time to Kedira, who's obviously coming back after a muscle injury. And Pedro Lopez furiously arguing with the referee's assistant. He wants a little word. And Pedro gets booked. Is it Pedro? The latest player to pick up a yellow card. And you don't want to be picking up yellow cards for dissent. You want to be picking them up for getting uh, your challenges in. He's trying to say he got the ball in no uncertain terms. Well, we go into half time here at the Ciutat de Valencia. Levante nil, Real Madrid 2. Cristiano Ronaldo scoring from the penalty spot. Chicharito Hernandez, seven minutes uh, before half time, scoring from open play. Real Madrid uh, with a comfortable advantage at the moment going into the break. Yeah, very comfortable, it has to be said. Pedro's still angry. I, I mean, I don't think he's, I don't know if he's accusing Marcelo of diving. I don't think Marcelo's dived there. It's just a question of whether he got the ball and the player at the same time. Maybe it was a decent chance for Levante, and they're all getting a little bit overheated, aren't they? The fact is, they're not playing very well. Madrid have been the best side so far, and the score's probably correct. Well, it is 2-0 going into half-time. Join us for the second half after this quick break. is Gavi Lan. Straight swap then in that case. Gavi Lan booked as well, which may have been a factor. In terms of bookings, uh, Lopez, Juan Fran, Camarasa and uh, Gavi Lan. Yeah, they're winning in that, in that despair way, aren't they? Winning 4-0 on bookings. We have a foul there and uh, the referee goes over just to and a quick word with Nacho. And to be Diop to take a free kick, and that's uh, where most of the danger was coming from, uh, from Levante. Set pieces from the boot of Diop, bar that to last corner of the first half. A foul on Casa de Zeus. Diop sends it in, it's a useful ball. And uh, Casillas slides down to try and prevent the corner. It does go out for another set piece. Yeah, once again, another decent delivery in there. He almost won that battle against Pepe. It's Rodas, isn't it? it goes out off the back of Pepe's head. Over with Ronaldo. Now James. Carvajal on the right. To Modric, who delivers an immediate return. Isco. Isco bears down on goal, flicks it through for Ronaldo. Great improvisation from him, but danger's not away. Now it's hooked clear. That was a great touch from Ronaldo. Maninho making the oh, save. Lovely back heel. 
For Marcelo, it uh, goes behind Cristiano Ronaldo. Real Madrid turning the screw. Nice control from Madrid, just moving the ball around, showing patience once again, as we saw them doing Villarreal a few weeks ago, and then looking for the killer punch. Here's Isco, parried away by Mourinho. Cristiano Ronaldo's first to it. Offside. And that's because he was offside. spell just uh, before the end of a 10 minute mark in the second half a great touch by Cristiano Ronaldo but uh, the goalkeeper had closed the angle here's an opportunity for Levante Pepe gets him away it was Victor wasn't it who tried scooped up by Ronaldo wasn't brought down well by uh, Javier Hernandez, Chicharito. Lovely little ball, a great little control there from... Ooh. Right on to the right. Levante. Space for a cross. Pepe gets it clear. Modric might have leveled his arm there. No complaints from the Levante players. Too much time bringing that under control did uh, Garcia. And it's taken clear with a sprint by Isco. Goes it onto the left. A move inside from Ronaldo. Ronaldo keeps on going. Cristiano Ronaldo, 15 league goals so far this season. Real Madrid go 3 0 in front from a storming run from Cristiano Ronaldo. His first goal from open play in this game. Yeah, good, once again, powerful finish. Good work from Isco to bring the ball forward. Pepe is... Well, Pepe did seem to go down there for a minute, but I think by what we're saying, third goal, that is definitively game over. So it's great work from Isco. Ronaldo's got Rodas in front of them, who's really not very quick. Juan Fran, once again, sells himself in the penalty area. You can't really dive in on Cristiano Ronaldo either, can you? And... So it's a bit more subtle finish than I thought, actually. When I first saw it, I thought he just leathered it, but in fact, he just uses the instep. And Bravo's got history of scoring against uh, Real Madrid, scored memorably for Sporting Gijón in uh, a first home defeat in Spain for Jose Mourinho's Real Madrid. Very rare home defeat for Mourinho, full stop. Manuel Preciado, of course, the late night much missed sporting coach in charge. Was a formerly in charge uh, at uh, Levante. Preciado, one of the real characters of the Spanish game. And Barral is going to come on. No sign of uh, Carlo Ancelotti making a change just yet. James Rodriguez on the run, pulls it down with his chest. Oh, that's a wonderful finish. And the home fans applaud that. Excellent control from James Rodriguez. It's 4-0 to Real Madrid. And what a superb way to do so for uh, James Rodriguez. Pulls it down on his chest. Provides the finish past Mourinho, who is left exposed by his defence. And Real Madrid take a four-goal advantage. Yeah, lovely technical ability. There you go. Go on. Straight swap, actually, from, from Mendy Leva. There's probably no point in going all out to get back into the game, is it, at the moment? Cassidy was taken off for David Burrell, and here's the goal. Lovely Outside. movement. Not exactly picked up his run, have they, any of them? But it's still a lovely technical gesture and a good finish. Not a lot Mourinho can do about that. Good ball from Cruz. And a good finish from Hamis. This uh, victory will take uh, Real Madrid further up the order. It will take them to 18 points. Valencia on 17, Sevilla on 16. Barcelona on 19. 
all three of those clubs are still to play. I still, th I think Sevilla and Valencia probably will probably fancy the chances of winning. Sevilla and Elche, aren't they? And Valencia against Depor, who look pretty poor, to be honest. Here's Isco. Isco sets up a shot. Isco scores. It's five. Well, we said there was likely to be more goals before the final whistle. We did once again get your five. You know, I think Marini. <laughs> God, I feel sorry for the keeper. He's made. He's saved what's been savable, hasn't he? And. And that wasn't savable. Good end to the week for Isco, as I said, difficult time. Part of the Spain under-21 squad that failed to qualify for the European Championships under-21s and therefore won't be able to defend their title or go to the Olympic Games. Not a great deal of defending done there, is there, has to be said, but you've still got to put it away. Not a lot Mourinho could do about that. Nicely hit by Isco, who makes it Levante nil, Real Madrid 5. Isco, a former Valencia player, familiar to this part of Spain. Free takes a quick look at his watch. And Pepe uh, well, makes uh, a push like only he can back late on in the game which comes to an end with Real Madrid running out 5-0 winners at the Ciutat de Valencia a comprehensive triumph for Carlo Ancelotti's men taking them nicely into a busy week yes yeah, so a big week ahead we've got Liverpool away in the Champions League then the Clasico um, problems I said problems for Levante though they, they don't look they don't look I know it's Real Madrid they don't look anywhere near as good as the side they were the last few years and I think it's going to be a really long season for them and Mendy Libar's in trouble as well but Madrid well they come back from the international good break and the good news for them is even missing a lot of key players let's remember that no Benzema no Varen no Gareth Bale um, business as usual basically comfortable win two goals for Cristiano Ronaldo a goal for Chicharito Hernandez a James Rodriguez goal and Isco finishing things off. The game has ended. Levante nil, Real Madrid five.